Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make two different types of herbal infused body oil. Body oils are fantastic at helping lock moisture into your skin. So the way that you use them is right after you get out of the shower or the bath, while your skin is still damp, you apply a little bit of the body oil and it really does lock in the moisture and help your skin to feel smooth, soft, and hydrated. So today we're gonna to be doing an herbal infusion. So we're gonna add some herbal properties to this already nice formula. And I'm gonna be sharing with you the recipe details in the description box below, as well as talking about them throughout the video. So you can recreate these if you like. If you would like a downloadable PDF with the recipe, with amounts, percentages, and a full written step-by-step -step detailed tutorial, please head on over to my Patreon campaign where you can unlock this formula along with three years of archived formulas for just one small $5 pledge. There really is a ton to take advantage of over there. In addition to the $5 level, there are four other tiers that you can look at and take advantage of if you like, each with their own unique benefits. We offer things like coupon codes to my favorite suppliers. That's right when you sign up. We also offer live monthly hangouts, live classes, monthly gift packages, and so much more. It's a great way to connect with me and other makers. I really hope that you'll check it out. All right, let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, it's important to note, you just want to make sure your entire workstation and any utensils that are going to come into contact with your formula are cleaned and sanitized. You don't want to accidentally add germs or bacteria to your beautiful formula. So what I have here are two mason jars. They're large mason jars. And I have a bath tea bag um, just kind of fitted over the top. This, this is what we're going to place our herbs in. So this is a large bath tea bag. I got these from Amazon. They come in a package that looks like this and they're made for infusions. You can throw one of these in your bath and make a nice herbal bath tea or you can use them for these purposes like this. So what we're going to do is add in our herbs for the infusion and into this first container we're going to be adding in some marigold dried calendula petals. Calendula is known for its anti-redness properties, mainly anti-inflammatory. You find calendula extract and infusions in all kinds of beauty and skincare products because it's known for its anti-redness and anti-inflammatory properties. So we're just gonna go ahead and fill half of our tea bag with some calendula. And then the next herb we're gonna be putting in this jar is some chamomile. Now chamomile is known for its soothing and calming properties. So this is gonna be a great oil for maybe, you know, people that have sensitive skin or get irritated skin pretty easily, or maybe even if you've spent some time out in the elements and you just wanna soothe your skin. Although you could use it every day and it would be great. So here's my dried chamomile flowers. I just think they're so beautiful, that color. Um, I did get these, this big bag in bulk from Mountain Rose Herbs. They have a great website with organic um, herbs and dried flowers and all kinds of things. So we're just adding in our chamomile. to the top. All right, and then we are gonna go ahead and set that aside. And then in the next tea bag jar, we're gonna be adding in some comfrey leaf, some dried comfrey leaf. Now comfrey, this is really, really good for uh, its skin soothing properties. Comfrey is high in a lantoin. A lantoin is what you use basically in cosmetics and skincare for its soothing properties. This is also gonna to help to create a really nice, beautiful green color in our infusion. And then the next herb we're adding in is some Moringa, some dried Moringa. This also came from Mountain Rose Herbs. Moringa is a beautiful, beautiful herb for skincare. It's very, very well known for its skin nourishing properties. Um, it's used a lot for anti-aging as well. It acts as a barrier to the skin, but it has a unique ability 
as an oil to kind of penetrate the skin as well. So it's just a very, very unique and beautiful herb to add to your skincare routine. It's very nourishing. All right, so now that we have our herbs placed, the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and weigh off our oils for this formula. All right, so the first oil we're gonna be weighing off here is some sunflower oil. This is gonna be the bulk of the formula, is the sunflower oil. We're using it at 70% of this recipe. So sunflower oil is a really lightweight, nice oil to use for a body oil. And by the way, probably not one you're really gonna find in oils that you purchase, body oils that you purchase um, at the store. I notice when you purchase a body oil at the store, it um, usually has just a kind of a combination of lesser luxurious and uh, less expensive oils. And that is because oils can be quite expensive. And not to say that they don't work well, it's just to say that you can make yourself a really nice, more nourishing and more vitamin packed oil. So sunflower oil has a ton of vitamins, antioxidants, it's lightweight, it's a beautiful oil to use. So the next oil we're gonna be putting in is some apricot kernel oil. Now this has similar properties to the sunflower seed oil, but it's got a more lightweight kind of airy texture that's really nice. So we're gonna be using apricot kernel oil at 20%, so that will be four ounces. We're making a 20 ounce blend. All right, and then the last oil we're gonna be adding is some argon oil. Now, you do not have to use argon oil. It's a quite expensive oil to use. We're using it at 10% in this formula, so we're gonna be using two ounces. We're using it at the smallest percentage because it is quite an expensive oil. You could just use more apricot kernel oil or more sunflower oil or a different lightweight carrier oil of your choice if you didn't want to use this or you didn't have it. So we are gonna be adding in two ounces here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lift this little tea bag up and over. I'm gonna cinch it off. And I'm gonna allow it to just sort of start that steeping process. Okay, isn't that? It'll be so easy to take this out so we don't have to strain anything. So when it's all done, we just pull the tea bag out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest off camera, filling this one up because it's the exact same oil blend. And then I'll bring you back when we're ready for the next step. All right, so my herbs are starting to infuse and what we're gonna do next is go ahead and place this in a pot and we're gonna put some water a few inches up and then we're gonna place it on the stove and we're gonna warm it up. Now when the water gets to like a simmering point, I'm gonna turn the heat off. I don't want my water to get too hot and cook my herbs to a point that they're scorched in the formula because you'll know if you get it too hot because it'll give off a weird smell and then you won't wanna use your oil. So just make sure that you heat it up to kind of like a, a simmer, a low simmer, and then turn it off. And then you're gonna allow it to steep in the hot to warm water for two hours. But I also wanted to show you the difference here between, you can already start to tell, this one is gonna be a beautiful kind of golden yellow color, and this one is gonna be a green, um, a beautiful kind of uh, light bright green color when it's all totally done infusing. I'll bring you back for the next step. All right, so while my oils are infusing over here, we're gonna go ahead and prep our bottles. So I'm gonna make these look like those type of body oils that you would find at a one-of-a-kind 
like boutique style store and they look very high end. So these are just some four ounce glass dropper bottles. And I got these, I think, at Berlin Packaging. Um, the dropper on them is kind of small, so you get a, a smaller flow of oil. So I'm also gonna show you these eight ounce PET Boston Round because this will give you more of a flow out of this kind of flip top lid. So I don't think we're gonna be getting enough oil to fill all of these, but I'm gonna start by just filling um, these four here. I'm gonna put a little bit of roses, and we're gonna put rose petals in the container. Now, this looks so pretty suspended in the oil, so that's really the only reason why I'm doing that is for decorative purposes. You might get a little bit of rose infusion, but you know, not a ton because we're just not infusing our oils the same way with a bunch of rose petals. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and place some rose petals. These are, of course, dried, but they're beautiful. They're red. Um, they're gonna add a nice little pop of color and they're gonna make the oil, they're gonna make the, the product look really beautiful and high end. All right, there you go. So we're just gonna set these aside and then I'll bring you back when we're ready to go ahead and take the oils off the stove. All right, so these have been infusing now over the low heat for about three hours. So as you can see, we've got a nice infusion going with this color that has turned that nice green and this one's a nice yellow. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and remove the tea bags, but they do retain a lot of oil like already, you just wanna squeeze the bag. Of course, you're gonna wait for it to get cool. In fact, I'm gonna put it over the top of this container here because it'll be much easier to squeeze into this wider mouth. So you're just gonna go ahead and squeeze the oil out of it. Then I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of this oil into this um, Pyrex. And we have a beautifully infused oil. And then you can go ahead and set this aside and we'll do the same thing with this one all right this time I'm gonna weigh off the oil as I go into this Pyrex because I'm probably gonna have to pour that amount into another dish on the other one to get the correct weight on how much oil we got Okay, so we're just gonna. Okay, so we got a full 16 ounces on this one and then I'm gonna weigh this one out because my scale is teared out so I'll get the weight of this one as well. Okay, we got 17.6 out of this one. So I'll be right back for the next step. All right, so this next part is optional. If you wanna keep this completely 100% natural, you could leave it fragrance-free or you could add in your favorite Skin Safe essential oil. Um, today I'm gonna to be using some fragrance oils. So we're gonna go ahead and use Vanilla Lace and Pearls from Nature's Garden and the Calendula and Chamomile one. Now this one is a very beautiful, warm, um, it's the it's the best vanilla that I have ever come across in purchasing fragrance oils. It, to me, it's the best balance of like sweet and kind of warm. It just smells really good. So we're gonna go ahead and put in 0.32 ounces of fragrance. 
that's at a 2% fragrance load. And then we're gonna give this a good stir. Just make sure everything is very well combined. And then we're gonna set that aside. And then in the Moringa and Comfrey one, here we're gonna put, this is a sample that I got from Candle Science, but I absolutely love it. Uh, look at the color of that, it's so gorgeous. So this is Fallen Leaves by Candle Science and it smells so good. Um, it's really a nice, warm, inviting fall fragrance. And I think it's gonna smell really good diluted in, in the product here. So we are gonna go ahead and put this one in at 0.35. No, sorry, 0.32 ounces. That's gonna be again at 2% fragrance load. Okay, and we're gonna give that a good stir. So the Fallen Leaves one smells um, not too spicy like some fall fragrances can. It has kind of a warm, um, kind of maple, if I had to describe it without looking at the fragrance notes, it kind of reminds me of like maple, but it does kind of have that outdoor like kind of warm and spicy note. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get that just well combined. And while I'm stirring this, um, I should mention that this video has been sponsored by a really amazing little company called Wild Grain. So I'm gonna to talk to you and tell you about it right now. And now a word about this video's sponsor, Wild Grain. Wild Grain is a subscription-based company that focuses on providing you with the very best, fresh, handmade sourdough breads, hand-cut pastas, and artisanal pastries. They focus on clean ingredients and artisanal processes that provide important health benefits, like healthy carbohydrates. Everything comes frozen, ready for you to bake or put into your freezer until you want to bake it. If you are a busy person like me, you will enjoy all the benefits of handmade bread on your table without all the trouble of making it. Here's the sesame sourdough. It's made with a sourdough starter, organic whole wheat flour, water, wheat flour, and salt. Simple, clean ingredients that taste delicious. Don't forget to click the link in my description box to enjoy $10 off your first box. Thank you so much, Wild Grain, for sponsoring this video. All right, and now we are ready to go ahead and pour into our containers. This is awfully full, so I'm gonna hold it like this. There we go. I love how it looks with the flower petals floating in it. So pretty. Okay, they will eventually get saturated and they won't be to the top like that but for now they are. Okay, there we go. Isn't that so pretty? All right, and then we're gonna pour into this four ounce, I probably will definitely have enough to do two, I think.
And then next we're gonna do the Moringa and Comfrey. everybody that is how you make a beautiful herbal botanical infused body oil these are so high-end and probably better than anything you could purchase at the store for the most part or if you can buy something this quality it's going to cost you a ton of money so these are just gorgeous looking they're so so good for the skin and i hope you like this video i was also going to let you know real quick regarding this moringa one this a little tiny bit of this in your hair would also be really lovely so you can use it in your hair, on your body. Um, you can put a little bit in your bath water. It's just great. And I hope you really liked this video. If you did, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment or question below and share this video with a friend. All right, everybody. Catch you on the next video. Keep shining. Bye.